So that's a great segue into my next question. What do you do um, as meth mob to decontaminate a property that is contaminated at that level? So in most of our houses, they're full decontamination. Mm -hmm. So I'll address that one. Sometimes we can do some pre-testing and find out it's only in certain areas. Mm -hmm. In most cases, it doesn't make sense to do additional, spend money to do additional pre-testing because you find it throughout the house. Yes. So on a full decontamination, on day one, we call it our dry day. And that's where we go hook up a great big HEPA vacuum to the furnace and we vacuum out all the supply lines, the cold air return, the furnace, the plenums. We pull the, the drawers out of the cupboards like in the kitchen and bathroom. We vacuum in there. We vacuum the whole house after the carpet and pad is out uh -huh. um, because we don't want meth mud. We, you know, the, <laughs> the process is wet. So we get all of our dry out. So day okay. one is our dry day. Uh -huh. Day two, three, and four, we're scrubbing every inch of ceiling, wall, floor, cupboard, drawer, duct, Harry Potter closet, the furnace, the plenums, the supply lines, everything. We are... I know the pups We've getting got all some anxious. Um, background noise. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But uh, we're scrubbing all of that with our decontamination solution. And we use the Apple Environmental Meth Remover and Crystal Clean. And it, they, they both have different things that I like better depending upon the house. Uh -huh. um, and, and you can get it right here in Salt Lake. It's not a secret what we do. I'm not mm -hmm. a secret keeper. I don't have to have all the, <laughs> the meth houses to decontaminate. I want all the meth houses that should be decontaminated done. Yes.